What's going on YouTube? GSNO right here. So in today's video I have some news about the iOS 11 jailbreak and the progress that has been made through Electra and the Installer 5. And uh, this is very important since it pretty much sets a new step into the jailbreak community. So I'm going to start with the fact that Electra has been updated to the Beta 7, which pretty much adds quite a lot of important stuff. The MFID or uh, Apple Mobile File Integrity Daemon now gets repatched if it gets killed, which is quite nice. Um, there's some cleanup in the MFID patch uh, by Stick29, and there is now a 3D Touch shortcut for 3D Touch enabled devices for jailbreaking, so pretty dope. Now, previous to Beta 7, we've got the 6.5, which I didn't present on the channel, which also addresses some problems that uh, could cause Launch T to run out of a file descriptors. So, um, it's quite okay to have all these fixes going on together. I have to say that Electra is for the moment the best jailbreak for the iOS 11.0 up to iOS 11.1.2. Now, a lot of you are going to ask me, okay, so should I give in? Should I start using Electra or should I wait for the substrate to be updated and for Cydia to be updated? Well, as Null Pixel, a developer, said in the jailbreak community, the substrate itself is no longer required for Electra. See, Electra itself uses a different kind of substrate, and that's the substitute created by Comics, which means that the substrate itself is no longer required in order to apply it tweaks or themes. Yes, some tweaks do not work with this new method, but they can be updated. Now, most of the tweaks are working, at least most of them that I use, and the themes are working completely fine since Electra comes with Anemone, which is another tool created by the same cool star who developed Electra. So if you are wondering whether you should give in and use Electra or not, yes, you should. It's very easy to uninstall Electra if you want to uninstall it, and also it's very, very powerful. So no crashes, it works pretty fast, it's pretty decent, it doesn't modify any files on your system, granted you do not modify them yourself, and um, if you want, for example, to un-jailbreak, there is a script that allows you to do that, I'll make a tutorial on the channel at some point, but if you want to un-jailbreak your device, and you know, get back to the stock device, you can run that script, granted you didn't modify any other files, it will pretty much revert any changes that Electra have made made. So it's pretty, pretty well made. So if you want to jailbreak now and install tweaks on iOS 11, you can use Electra. That's, uh, there seems to be a little bit of misinformation going on in the community that Electra might not be stable and exactly as Null Pixel said, a developer as I said, uh, said in his uh, post on Reddit, Electra is very damn stable and I definitely recommend it for beginners at this point, uh, especially since uh, the last few betas fixed quite a lot of things. For example, the Jailbreak D daemon is now automatically starting if it gets killed, which is quite dope, because um, you no longer need to start it yourself through fiddly procedures should it get killed. And now the uh, AMFID, which is Apple Mobile File Integrity daemon, gets repatched if it gets killed or restarted or stuff like that, which is again uh, a little bit of work taken from the uh, user itself and of course put into the um, automatic jailbreak itself. So it's pretty damn stable. Go ahead and update to the beta 7 if you didn't already. Now let's talk a little bit about the installer. Now, the installer 5 is pretty much a Cydia alternative, but no, it's not that kind of Cydia alternative that you see like App Valley or Tweakbox, which allows you to install plus plus applications on a non jailbroken environment. It's pretty Pretty much a Cydia alternative for jailbroken devices, which wants to pretty much be in competition with Cydia itself. So installing tweaks and themes and stuff like that. A real Cydia alternative. Well, it's been in the works for quite a while now, and uh, apparently they have posted today, quote, registrations will open tonight, GMT plus one time, European time. Which means that they are finally accepting registrations for the beta. Now, it's coming and it's in the works works, and um, as far as I know, it's been in the works for quite a lot of time now, and it will definitely be nice. So, 
Uh, once this is released, we will have both Cydia and the installer, uh, and this is good. I mean, a lot of people are seeing this as, well, we don't need uh, another Cydia or we don't need a Cydia alternative, we have Cydia. Okay, but as you can see, Cydia can't be updated in an instant, and it's good to have another um, option if a new jailbreak gets released uh, that, that you can use. I mean, maybe the installer team has more time at their disposal and can update their tool faster. Uh, so so while you're waiting for CDI, you can use Installer 5, or maybe you get to use Installer 5 from this point on. That's There's nothing wrong about that. It's good to have working alternatives. Uh, I would love to see this working, since um, past attempts to create a CDI alternative have failed, unfortunately, including the installer. Now, installer 5 tends to, to change that. So let's hope this will be a great project and will work alongside with Cydia in the jailbreak community. So yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. Go ahead and take a lake try and smack it into your device and use it if you want to jailbreak iOS 11.0 up to iOS 11.1.2. Yes, it is safe. Granted, you do not modify files from the system. Do not do that. But yes, you can install tweaks and there is a list in the description down below with the currently working and currently not working tweaks for the Electra so that you know what to install. Electra also provides a safe mode so if a tweak is misbehaving and has the potential to you know break the device or break the iOS, Electra will automatically enter in the safe mode and will tell you something went wrong. If you get into the safe mode the first thing you need to do is to uninstall what you have previously installed that created the safe mode and that's usually the latest tweak installed but yeah so yeah, thank you for watching guys do not forget to subscribe to stay updated i'm geosnow signing out